Erasmus, it's uh, Brayton Wilson from WGR Sports Radio hey. 550. Hope you had a good off season and uh, welcome back. Uh, last time we spoke with you, there was a lot of uncertainty with your future here in Buffalo, but um, now you're back for another season. What is your mindset heading into uh, this upcoming season, given the circumstances? Yeah, I mean, I saw the moves we made uh, during the off season and uh, got me really excited and I'm, uh, I'm ready to go and happy to be here. Can't wait to start playing again. Hi, Rasmus. It's Bill Hoppy with the Times Times Herald. Uh, just how refreshed are you? I mean, we we we've seen over the years a lot of this, a lot of the losing has taken a toll on you. But uh, now you're going into your second season with Ralph. You had a good year under him. I mean, they've made a lot of moves. Just how exciting is that for you to begin to begin with all this right now? Yeah, I mean, it was a way too long off season, so it's. Really, really great to be back. And, you know, like I said, the moves we made makes me even more excited about the, about the team and the upcoming games. And working with Ralph, it was great. So we're excited to keep building on that relationship too. Hi, Rasmus. John Vogel with The Athletic. Good to see you again. Um, obviously, you're a fan of physical stuff. It started right away. I mean, today, there's a lot of pushing and shoving for third day of camp. I'm sure, A, you like that. And B, what do you think about how the team's style of play is going to be this year? Yeah, I mean, you get to play play the way you practice, you know. And uh, what was the second part of the question? I forgot it. Yeah, just the way that you guys are being physical, do you think that carries into how you're going to play this season, just the whole team, the way the style is going to be? Yeah, I mean, that's how we should play, you know, should play, you know, if we want to win, you know, it's for, for. I mean, you can play a different way, style of uh, physicality, you know, everyone doesn't need to run through the walls, you know, just uh, take the time and uh, space away and, you know, work hard. Hey, Russ, this is Lance Lysowski from the Buffalo News. Uh, when we spoke to you back in May, you sort of acknowledged that you didn't know if you were going to be here. You didn't know what direction the team was taking. You know, after you know your conversation with Ralph and after all the offseason moves, I mean, are you happy to still be in Buffalo? And what do you think about just the direction that the Sabres are taking after all the offseason moves? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm happy and excited to be here. And, you know, I mean, what I learned from uh, from this business last seven years, there is always going to be uncertainties and you never know where you're going to be tomorrow. But like I said, uh, I enjoy it here right now and uh, team looks looks good and ready to go. And it's uh, going to be a very, very exciting year. Hey, Rasmus, it's uh, Brayton Wilson again. Um, heading into this season, looking at the defensive group that you're a part of, there hasn't been all that much changeover from last season's group to this season's group. How important do you think it is to have that same core group kind of all intact heading into this upcoming season? Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's same with the forward group too. We have a lot of, almost a lot of uh, similarity than last year, especially with the D. So, I mean, it's easy to build on from that. And, you know, especially we have a lot of, a lot of young guys here. So, you know, we can take uh, huge stri strides during that uh, nine month off season. So, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be way better this year for sure. Hi, Rasmus. It's Bill again. Um, just wondering, just, how you've gotten to know Kevin Adams and uh, just w what are your thoughts on him as, as a, as a guy, as a GM? Uh, honestly, I haven't had too many conversations with him yet so far, but uh, the few times we talked, you know, he seems very, very, very good guy, you know, very honest. And, uh, you know, I like the, like the moves he made so far. So that tells me, tells me a lot about him. He wants to, make the team better right away. Hey, Rasmus, John again. Just, uh, you're obviously a stylish guy. What do you think of the new colors, the new uniforms, a lot of changes? Yeah, I love it, it's great. The only minus thing, it looks like Team Sweden a little too much, but thank God they lost yesterday, so all good. <laughs> 
Or uh, since Lance again, now, why do you think that you were able to connect so well with Ralph Kruger? It seems like you two have really developed a solid relationship, and you know he called you a core player, and he sees you as a leader on this team. Yeah, I, I mean, I like everything about Ralph. I mean, I like the way he wants us to play. I like the way he he talks with people. I like the meetings meetings he's doing, and uh, you know. It's 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 been good and uh, like I've I've said before he's probably the best coach I I've had in my career so I'm happy to you know been working been working with him in the future too hopefully. Hey Rasmus Brayton Wilson here again. Um, get another season to play with Rasmus Dahlin and uh, what do you see in him? in at least these first three practices that is different from the first two years that you got the chance to play with them? Uh, I think the, the biggest thing I've, I've noticed so far is him uh, him off the ice and he, he's gained a few pounds. So that's that's good for him. And, you know, nine months off season for him, you know, he, he can take so, so, so many big steps during that time. So, I mean, I'm expecting him to take even a bigger role and being a better player. It's Lance again. You know, what was your focus this off season? You know, it's, it was a long one. Uh, as somebody as dedicated to fitness as you are, how did you sort of balance, you know, preparing for the season when you didn't know when it was going to start? And what areas of your game did you really want to address, you know, going into this year, you know, considering the role that you're going to play on this team? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me, First of all, was to you know recover, forget hockey, refresh mind, and then you know start, start you know start working out. Uh, you know uh, this this off season, I probably skated the most I I ever had during the summer. So working on my skate, fitness on the ice, skating, shooting, puck handling, but probably off the ice, the main thing was uh, speed and explosiveness. All right. That's it. Thanks for stuff.